Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to another Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. For today's card, I'm using the Basket of Wishes stamp set. I'm starting by stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to do some watercoloring, but this is Whisper White that I'm stamping on, so I'm not using a ton of water. I have chosen the pumpkin set. Uh, there's strawberries and there's flowers and succulents and this stamp set is really versatile. Now here is my brand new heat tool and uh, I just got it. The first setting is for ink drying and the second setting is for embossing. So I have my watercolor pencils out here and I am just coloring as best I can in the um, white spaces and I'm going right over the ink because it's been dried and you can see I have some little pieces of watercolor paper that I have scribbled on the watercolor pencil so sometimes I use that uh, I find that I have a little bit better control on lightness and darkness of the paint but um, and then sometimes I go in with the actual watercolor pencil and then I'm able to color directly and use it the way it's intended. I find that picking up the color from these little swatches I've made helps to, um, I can mix two colors together, I can use it like an actual uh, watercolor. I'm heating in between the ink to make sure that it is dry and then I will go back in and color some of the uh, the next images. For the stems I did use a marker because it was just too tiny and I wanted to actually color them. And then with the basket, I scribbled on the early espresso and a little bit of yellow. And then I just used a wet paintbrush and uh, mixed the two right on the page. And you can see that I do have a little bit of warping, but that's okay. It's going to warp a little bit more. So now I've decided to put some blue around the basket. And so how I'm doing that is wetting the paper and then picking up some of the Pacific point in my little swatch and coloring around the basket just to give it a little bit more, I don't know, cohesiveness. I like the look. It definitely got the paper wet though but I used my bone folder after it was dry to sort of smooth out the edges a little bit and that did help. So now I have a piece of Sahara sand and I am just creasing that with the um, what whisper white piece I just cut it down to four inches and I wanted to add this little bit of cheers to the year designer series paper it has gold and champagne and copper in it and just cut off the excess here and then I am putting some fast fuse on the back. I'm trying to get the edges and I really go over where that basket was. I could see it's warping a little. And now I'm just placing that on my card base. I tried doing it one way, but it was easier to do it this way, laying it flat. And I just cut off the anything that was hanging off the edge. Now I've forgotten the sentiment, so <laughs> I use the Memento Tuxedo Black again, and that is my card. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. 
On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.